President Garamella will present the opening address. Please join me in welcoming President Garamella. Thank you, David. And good afternoon. Welcome to all of you. Most of all, the parents and the loved ones that have supported our students, Senator Marcel Leahy, my colleagues in administration, trustees, and certainly all the honorees today. Just want to remind you, you're not getting your degrees today. You need to show up tomorrow morning to get those. So we spend a lot of time at a university thinking about theories, reading about other people's ideas and philosophies, ideas from across space and time and place. But what may be the most important and exciting part of a university education is to think independently and nurture your own, your own ideas. So today, I'll do something unusual. I'll read you a children's book, all of it. You'll soon see why. That's the book. The title is, What Do You Do With an Idea? Practice for one I have to read to my grandchildren. One day, I had an idea. Where did it come from? Why is it here? I wondered. What do you do with an idea? At first, I didn't think much of it. It seemed kind of strange and fragile. I didn't know what to do with it, so I just walked away from it. I acted like it didn't belong to me, but it followed me. I worried about what others would think. What would people say about my idea? I kept it to myself. I had it, I hid it away, and didn't talk about it. I tried to act like everything was the same as it was before my idea showed up. The illustrations are beautiful here, but you don't get to see those. But there was something magical about my idea. I had to admit, I felt better and happier when it was around. It wanted food. It wanted to play. Actually, it wanted a lot of attention. It grew bigger, and we became friends. I showed it to other people, even though I was afraid of what they would say. I was afraid that if people saw it, they would laugh at it. I was afraid they would think it was silly. And many of them did. They said it was no good. They said it was too weird. People say that about me all the time. They said it was a waste of time and that it would never become anything. And at first, I believed them. I actually thought about giving up on my idea. I almost listened to them. But then I realized, what do they really know? This is my idea, I thought. No one knows it like I do. And it's OK if it's different and weird and maybe a little crazy. I decided to protect it, to care for it. I fed it good food. I worked with it. I played with it. But most of all, I gave it my attention. My idea grew and grew, and so did my love for it. I built it a new house, one with an open roof, where it could look up at the stars, a place where it could be safe to dream. I liked being with my idea. It made me feel more alive, like I could do anything. It encouraged me to think big, and then to think bigger. It shared its secrets with me. It showed me how to walk on my hands, because it said it is good to have the ability to see things differently. I couldn't imagine my life without it. Then, one day, something amazing happened. My idea changed right before my very eyes. It spread its wings, took flight, and burst into the sky. 
I don't know how to describe it, but it went from being here to being everywhere. It wasn't just a part of me anymore. It was now a part of everything. And then I realized what you do with an idea, you change the world. So that's the book. I hope you get a copy. And it's by Kobe Yamada, illustrated by May Bisum. And so what do you do with an idea? You change the world. I hope you see why I had to read you that book. The Honors College is so much more than just the sum of its parts. It is a unique educational community rooted in a common drive to explore and achieve. To create thinkers who knew how to have ideas and what to do with them. And as I look out at you, I know you're a group who's as ready as any class before you to do something with your ideas. Your four years at UVM were marked by the challenges of the pandemic, which you transcended with great consideration for yourselves, for each other, and for our community as a whole. What distinguishes you as students, as people, is your ability to maintain focus and hold high standards for yourselves, no matter the circumstances. These qualities were profoundly evident during your time here at UVM. You spent four years cultivating ideas and honing your skills in research and discovery, and now it is time to take them out into the world and put them to their greatest use. The road to success has been well trodden by those who preceded you in the Leahy Honors College. Now it's your turn. Congratulations. <laughs>